Hello, my name is Claire and this video is going to be a review video of my buggy, pram, travel system, the whole lot. So this is a video I've been wanting to make for ages. I initially did a video on this um, travel system when I first got it. So before I had used it, I did a video on first thoughts. So now I have used it for 10 months. I cannot believe it's been that long, but I've used it for 10 months and I wanted to talk about what I like about it, what I dislike about it, and in general, how it's worn, um, and yeah, um, everything that I think about it. So let's get right in. So this travel system is by Mamas and Papas. It's called the Flip XT3. So we got this probably just over a year ago now, and we got it from, we didn't buy it direct from Mamas and Papas, we bought it from a shop called the Pram Centre, which is based in Glasgow. They had a really good deal on um, for, <clears throat> excuse me, for the full travel system. I have went on Mamas and Papas website and they don't have the same deal on and they also don't have it in the colourway that I have bought it in. Um, but they have various different colourways and loads of different deals on, but they don't have exactly the same one as what I got. You can find these deals come and go quite often because there's so many buggies out there and travel systems as well. Um, but what I got for reference is we paid just over a thousand pounds and we got an 11 piece system, travel system. So I've written it down here so I don't forget what we got. We got the buggy, so the um, seat bit here, the carry cot for when he was a baby, the frame, which holds it all together, uh, the foot muff to keep him warm in winter, the car seat, which was the Cybex 8 on, eight on 5, uh, the Isofix to put the car seat in the car, the parasol, a cup holder, the rain cover, the changing bag, and the adapters to put the car seat onto the frame. And that's all you get. That's 11 different items, and that was just over £1,000 we paid. So to start off, I just want to have full disclosure. We did not use the changing bag that came with this. It's actually still up in the cupboard upstairs. We got gifted a different changing bag that we used and then now we just use a rucksack. So I have not used that. The cup holder that we got with it, I found um, just got in the way. Um, so I used it maybe twice or something like that, but it stuck out the side of the buggy and when I was in shops and things, it would bang into things. And when you push your buggy on any kind of terrain that's not completely smooth, if you've got a coffee or something in it, it will come out of the coffee holder and it will spill it everywhere. So I stopped using it extremely quickly. Um, and everything else, well, the parasol, I haven't really used that. Now, when I go out for walks, I use the snooze shade, it's called. Um, I've got it at the bottom of the buggy. I will show you when I'm showing you the buggy. Um, but it just goes, it just covers right over the full buggy. Um, so when you're pushing it, your baby's completely covered. Whereas I found the parasol, when I was pushing the buggy, I was constantly adjusting it. I think the parasol would be good if we were sitting in one place for a, you know any length of time. Um, you know, if we were sitting outside in a cafe or something like that, put the parasol up, covers the baby from the sun and you don't need to worry about it. But when you're walking and you're changing direction all the time, the parasol, I mean, I just looked like an idiot when I was like trying to move the parasol all the time when I was walking. So I quickly gave up on that and just bought the snow shade. It's much handier to take around with us and um, it works perfectly whether I'm walking, whether I'm sitting in a cafe, no matter what we're doing, it works. So everything else um, that we got with the 11 piece set, I have used. The car seat is still in the car just now, the eight on five car seat, and that has been brilliant. It is easy to lift in and out of the Isofix that it comes with. Um, Samuel seems comfortable in it. He, um, the, the uh, straps fit him nicely still, and he's 10 months old, and he's still in it quite comfortably. His head's not above the, the kind of level that it, <laughs> that it needs to be at. One thing about that 8 on 5 car seat is that it's got shoulder pads that are um, uh, that stick on with uh, just wee um, button with wee poppers on each side and Samuel can get them off. So we need to make sure that it's tight enough down that he um, can't get his hand under to um, rip these off but you know, his kids are just so, <laughs> so we geniuses when it comes to things like this because he just always seems to be able to get them off and the next time we'll look in the, the mirror and he'll have it in his mouth and he's chewing it. So that's a bit of a pain now but at the beginning, I mean he didn't start doing this till 
you know, about a month ago. So for that full time, the car seat has been fantastic um, and we will be getting a new one soon because this one only lasts while they're um, really small. Um, so we will be getting a new one, but just to let you know that car seat has been fantastic. I can carry it quite happily up and down stairs um, with Samuel in it. It's getting a bit harder now, um, so we tend just to leave it in the car all the time. But in the beginning, I was quite happily lifting it up and down stairs with no issues. So now that I've ticked those things off that I don't have here, um, I will get into showing you the actual buggy system that we've got just now and the way that it's set up and what I like about it. So I have the buggy system set up for my height. I am five foot exactly, but you can um, extend it if you're taller. So you just flip these wee bits out and then it comes right out or goes down. So that's really good and it's really easy to do. The system, the way that we've got it set up now is so that Samuel is still facing us. So you can change this really easy. Um, you can just lift this up and flip it round and it will be facing out the way. I guess when he gets a bit older, that's what we're going to do. But for the moment, he's quite happy looking at us and we're quite happy looking at him. So um, that is fantastic. It is easy to get him in and out of it. It has got this bar across that you just press a button and it easily flips round and comes off. So it's easy to get in and out if he's lying down. Um, the buggy is really easy to change from sitting up to lying down. It has got a flap around the back. I will show you because it's so pretty. It is a rose gold flap around the back here. I don't know if you can see it sitting there. So you just pull this out and then it can go right down. And this buggy is really good because it can go down to completely flat. So you can actually use this straight away with a newborn because you can have them completely flat. Now we only use it like this when Samuel is napping, um, which isn't very often. We always try and get him home to nap, but he is pretty comfortable in this because the mat that they're lying on is like memory foam. It feels really, really comfortable and really padded everywhere. So he is secure and safe and comfortable. The harness that is attached to it fits really well. Um, it is all padded as well. Every bit that's going to be touching Samuel is padded. The straps have pads that go around them as well. But again, he kept on pulling them off. So we haven't been using them just now. Don't really need to. It's not any issues. Um, you know, we've had no issues with it rubbing against his skin or anything. And he seems pretty comfortable. And um, yeah, the harness is really good. It's a nice secure click. I love that noise. <laughs> it means that he's nice and safe. Um, and yeah, so that's the lying flat. Um, it has got a really nice big hood on it. So the hood has a flap at the back with a little panel and you can see in. Obviously when Samuel goes to be front facing, um, we'll use that a lot more. But just now um, it's got that and it's got the nice big hood. Let me just lift, set it up again. So it sits up really nicely. All the detail on it is rose gold, which is so, so pretty. I really like that. Um, it's got a nice big basket underneath, which was one thing I was looking for um, because we walk down to the supermarket quite often and um, yeah, I can fit tons of groceries in there and carry them back up home. It's got this foot fit at the front. Let me just move you back a bit. So you can see it's got the foot fit at the front. It can lift up or go down depending on whether your baby's legs are long enough to go down. At the moment, Samuel's aren't really, so we'll still keep it up flat for him, and he seems pretty comfortable with that. And yeah, that is the buggy in a hole. I find it easy to put up and down. The one thing that is um, a bit annoying is that if I show you, you just put it down, you twist the handle at the front, this comes up, this part, let me just put the um, bar back across. So this part goes down and if he was um, rear facing, it would just be fine. Um, sorry, if he was front facing, it'd be fine because rear facing, we have to go all the way back around. <laughs> and it holds like that and then it's got a handle here and you just lift it up and that's it. And it's not that heavy, it's um, a decent sized buggy and it's not terribly, terribly heavy. I can get it in, in, the car, in and out of the car with ease. Um, 
And yeah, the one thing I find a bit annoying about when it's like this is that so it's got a clip that stops you, uh, that stops it coming apart all the time. But um, you can undo this when it's up like this, it's stuck. So to undo it, you need to put the buggy flat and then it undoes really, really easily. And you can just lift it up and kick the wheels out and then bring the spout around. There we go. So it's really easy to put up. I can do it whilst holding the baby. I'm obviously not going to do that thing. He is napping at the moment while I'm doing this video. But you can easily put it up and down whilst holding a baby. Um, you can carry it whilst holding a baby as well. It's not, I mean, you don't want to carry it too far, but it is, you know, it's easy to carry with the handle that you can hold at the bottom. And yeah, those are um, my thoughts on the, the buggy part. The next part I'm going to show you is the foot muff. This attaches on really easily with the straps. They just go through it and it feels nice and secure. This is nice and cosy inside. It's um, a nice soft uh, feeling fabric on the inside, but also you can wipe it, it's wipeable, um, which means it's easy to keep clean. This obviously isn't on the buggy just now because we're coming to the end of summer, but we will put it back on when the winter comes in because it is super cozy and super warm for Samuel to wear, um, or Samuel to, to go into. The next thing I was going to quickly show was the carry cot. Now the carry cot we haven't used in a long time, but it is basically a brand new. Samuel used this a lot when um, he was newborn because it was winter, he was a November baby. We um, put him in this to keep him nice and cosy and warm. I'm just gonna put it down just now. Um, but it is super, super um, easy to clean, nice wipeable surfaces on everything because newborns spit up quite a lot. <laughs> um, so that's really handy. And yeah, we absolutely loved it. I found it really easy to take this in and out of the um, adapters, not the adapters, the frame. I found it really easy to lift in and out when I was taking Samuel out for walks and things. So yeah, I, there's nothing to fault about the, that kind of system at all, the carry cot system or the buggy system. They both work really, really well. Um, and yeah, I've enjoyed using them both. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the rain cover. So the rain cover is one rain cover that comes to fit over both things, the carry cot and the buggy. Um, and I found it doesn't fit perfectly over the carry cot, um, but it does fit really nicely over the buggy. It has got a nice big zip, so you can have it open and just protect them from the wind, or you can have it closed when it's raining. It also has little air holes at each side, so it doesn't get all steamed up and your baby doesn't um, get, get short of air <laughs> um, so it's a really good uh, rain cover it folds up really small so I could just keep it at the bottom of the buggy um, along with the snooze shade which is just here it's in a little pouch and we just get this out if it's sunny and it covers right over the top of the um, the hood and down over his legs so that um, it keeps him nice in the shade and that's really good this wasn't included, this I bought off Amazon. I think it was maybe 20 pounds, I think. Um, I could be wrong, I'll put like how much it is here or something, um, so that you know, because I do recommend it. It is such a, it's been so good over summer, because I obviously I don't want Samuel to get um, sunburnt or anything. We do put sunscreen on him, but um, you want to keep your baby out of the sun as much as possible. And this is really good for that. So just a couple of final thoughts on this buggy. Um, I am five foot exactly, and I don't feel that this buggy is huge. Sometimes um, when I see buggies, I think they look massive. And when I was testing out buggies in the shop, I just felt like some of them looked silly, like I was pushing an enormous buggy. Um, and this one doesn't look like that. It looks really quite sleek, and it doesn't look too high up for me or anything like that. Um, so I. I like that that aspect of it. Um, this one is not heavy either. It's very lightweight. Some of the prams that we saw and the buggies that we saw when we were testing them out were really heavy. Um, we didn't want that because we stay in a top floor flat. So we wanted something that would be easy to carry up and downstairs when I needed to. And this has been that. 
So wear and tear, I kind of touched on this throughout when I was talking about it. The carry cot I found has no wear and tear. Um, it's basically brand new and we did use it quite often. Uh, the buggy has seen a little bit more use, um, so it's got a wee bit more wear and tear. Um, even with, you know, kind of, if Samuel's eating in it, it's got a bit of food on it. It's so easy to clean, it's so easy to wipe, it's been fine. Um, the wheels ha are fantastic, they have lasted really well and I've been out almost every day on buggy walks um, using this buggy and the wheels have still got all their tread on them, they're really really good. Um, so yeah, I cannot fault any of the kind of the, the whole system because it's it's a, it's worn really well, it's 10 months hard use that we've had of it and it's it still looks brand new. So thank you very much for watching my review of this travel system. I hope you liked it. If you did, please consider subscribing. I do reviews on all the kind of baby product products that I've bought for Samuel. And yeah, if you've got any questions about this buggy specifically, please just let me know and I will try my hardest to answer them. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will speak to you in my next video.